All right, new day, new creepypasta. This time we're going for Lulu. I think I remember the premise for, I think I remember Lulu vaguely, but not too much. Hmm. I don't wanna, like it, it's like I said in the Herobrine intro that Starting from the 22nd onward is going to be majority of the creepypastas I would li know little to nothing about slash remember, so I'm not going to bother. But let's get into it. Alrighty. Now today we're going to the backstory of Lulu. Unfortunately, not much of a name for this creepypasta, just Lulu. I don't really know that much myself about her, but about to find out more. Give me your eyes. Quote from Lulu. Lucille Tiffany Greatfield, or Lulu, is a creepypasta character that appears in the story of the same name, Lulu. She was once an innocent girl who went to a private school, and changes happen when she attended that school, follow her story through being bullied, tricked, and losing her eyes. Wow. Right off the bat. Okay, then. Uh, might need a drink for this one. Lucy was born of a Vietnamese woman and a Caucasian male. She had a love for books just like her parents and spent most of her childhood listening to stories her mother would read to her. Eventually, her mother had fallen ill from cancer and died, leaving Lucy with her father. She was very depressed and spent most of her young age consumed in the fantasy world of her father's library. When she turned 14, her father was worried about her distant attitude and her cold nature. In hopes of bringing light back to his daughter, he decided in enrolling her in a private academy for girls so she can work on her social skills around other females. Lucy didn't enjoy her time there at all. She had a more developed body than average girls her age in a time where developed bodies were the site of ridicule. She did get some backlash from students there, but she remained unfazed for the most part. Eventually, the girl conducting the bully ring, named Julia, became obsessed with Lucy. The fact that Lucy wouldn't break no matter how many kids would hit her and make fun of her, Julia wanted nothing more than to see Lucy fall off her high horse. Mm. The obsession soon grew ridiculously unhealthy and she wound up drugging Lucy. She figured the only way she hadn't tried to break in her was sexually, so she had to give it a try. Oh no. Oh no. That's so. Oh. I can't even fathom that at all. <sighs> Despite Lucy trying her hardest to keep herself being taken advantage of by Julia, was the last straw. She ran from the school to the nearby woods. There, she met a man who promised to make it all stop, to give her the vision she desired to understand. In her weak state, she accepted the offer just to just so it all would stop. Unfortunately, as the fog consumed her, her eyes were taken and replaced with an undying urge to remove the vision of others. Lucy's escape only trapped her in a never-ending loop of her own torment and trying to recapture her own eyes. Though years had passed, she did find solace in two people just as sad as her. Alex and Roger, her adoptive brothers had taken her into a home and fixed her up when they found her beaten and bloody from a human who escaped her grasp. Their relationship was rocky at first, but as time went on, she found they understood being trapped more than anyone. Lulu wears an old, tattered blue school uniform and has her hair into twin tails. 
with bangs that cover her f half her face. Her face doesn't have eyes, but when she opens the place where she had eyes, all she has is empty eye sockets that blood starts to pour out of them, which is the reason why we see blood where her eyes are supposed to be. She also appears to have various scars and bruises on her body, most notably her wrists, arms, and a closed gash in her thigh. I feel like that's probably from the abuse from the school too. Yeah, most likely. Oh boy. As an innocent girl, she was shy but social. She loves making friends, but she trusted a lot of people who didn't want to be friends with her. When she got bullied, she was turning num she was turning number and less happy. After she got three months of no school, she was too numb and was isolating herself. Now she's happy again but ended up having trust issues, and as a murderer, Lulu can act very sweet when it comes to trying to reel her victims in. However, she won't hesitate to use force when she feels provoked or has been put into a corner. Wow. Lulu isn't incredibly powerful in terms of any magical or physical abilities. However, she is smart and is able to deceit her victims, able to put on a friendly facade in order to manipulate and trick her victims into falling directly into her trap. She also cannot age, but can still be killed. In open spaces, she has the ability to pause time with the fog and use the fog to see. And she has slightly increased physical strength and speed from being turned into a supernatural being. Oof. Lulu was created by Chibi Works. Okay. She likes reading. She reads books in Braille. Her brothers, playing, Liz uh, playing with Lazari, another OC of the creator, Chibi Works, as well as another creepypasta who will be covered on at the very near the end of the month. Uh, making soup and collecting eyeballs. She dislikes loud noises simply because she cannot see where it's coming from, losing people she loves, and being intimately touched by a woman. Oh, oh boy. She was born with... Uh, how do you pronounce... Oh my god, how do you pronounce that? Heterochromia, one blue eye, while the other was light brown hazel color. Okay. She sees Lazari as a younger sister figure, she has a hard time trusting females after what happened to her. The man was Zalgo in disguise. This is obviously not canon to Zalgo. Obviously. Lulu is 14 years old physically, but she is 24 years old in via age. So, technically, she like mentally and like age-wise, she's 24, but she still has her 14-year-old body. Got it. Okay. Lulu measures at 5 foot 4 in height with her weight being around 140 pounds. Why would you give us that info? If there's one thing you should never know, never ask a woman about her weight. Never ask her about her age. Alright? Those are sensitive topics. She's very friendly to certain people. She's dating a man named Alfred. Okay. Lulu is featured in the Creepypasta comic series, I Eat Pasta for Breakfast. Isn't that the one where Lazari debuted? Yeah, I, th I think it was, yeah. Ben Drowned has a crush on her in the comic. Really? Okay, then. She can only see in fog, otherwise she is completely blind. Alright, so first off, obviously we have uh, the picture right here. Art by Nightmare Queen Casse on DeviantArt. Honestly, it does look like a good picture. Because it is right here as well in the fan art lineup. Uh, there's this picture right here. Actually, yep. I'd say this looks pretty good, too. And plus, the little details, like... Obviously, the shading and everything. And look, if you look closely at the eyeballs, you see this one is uh, 
light green, and this one is the blue color, which was explained in the, I believe, the appearance, right? Or was it the... Here it is, here it is. Heterochromia, one, bl one blue eye while the other was light brown hazel color. That would be, yeah, the blue eye and then the light brown hazel-ish color eye. So for those that can't tell, this one right here is Lulu. That right there is Lazari. And I think this, this little creep in the background, I think that's Jeff. I think that's Jeff the killer. Who do we have here? Wait a sec. Oh, I think I know who these three are. Okay, yeah. So obviously in this... Uh, let me see here real quick. Alright, so obviously in the middle right here we have Lulu right there. The one on the left right here, that's Sally Williams who will be covered in a few days here. This one right here is Nina the Killer who will be covered the day after Sally. Hey you. Yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.